Hey guys, Gameplay here, and today I'll be teaching you how to add textures to planes in FSX. So firstly, what you want to do, you want to open your chosen browser, and in the URL bar, you want to type flyawaysimulation.com. So that should bring you to a nice little website, um, loads of information on there, but you just want to go across to the little magnifying glass icon. And then in the search for downloads bit, you want to search whichever aircraft you'd like, and then repaint. So for this example, I'll be using a 737 repaint. Once we've done that, we'll get loads of examples. Um, we've got Qantas, American Airlines, Delta, we've got loads of them. You can really choose whichever one you want. So for this demonstration, I will be using the Qantas 737. As we can see, it's only around about 2 megabytes. So you just click on the download tab there, and then go down and click download now. That should bring a tab up in the bottom left, and you want to just wait for that to download. So as you can see, that's just downloaded. So what you want to do now is drag the internet window to the side, and then drag the file onto your desktop. You can now close the internet window. So as we can see here, for this we will need to use WinRAR. You will need to right click on the file, and click extract to the folder name. This should bring up a folder that's unzipped nearby. Once you've got that, you can delete the zip file. So specifically in this file, if we click Sim Objects Airplanes 737, we will find a texture.quantus file. In here we'll have the textures, internet links, loads of good stuff. But what we want to do, once you find your texture.file, you want to right click on it and copy it. So now we need to bring the file to its rightful place. So firstly, we want to click this PC. And to find your Steam file, most people will want to click in the primary disk, but for me, it's in my secondary disk. Then you want to find Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, then FSX, and then down to Sim Objects. In Sim Objects, you want to click Airplanes. Now you get the file full of airplanes. Now you need to find the aircraft file that corresponds with the one that you put in the texture on. Once you've found that, just click paste inside the folder. So now we need to go back to our downloaded folder. In the folder, there should be a readme document. And in the readme document, you should get a portion of text that looks like the following, beginning with flightsim.x. What you want to do, you need to highlight the entire section and copy it. Now you'll need to bring the text to your chosen aircraft folder. In the folder you should find an aircraft text document, you want to open that. In the file you will find sections of text that begin with Flight Sim 1, Flight Sim 2, etc. As you can see here, where it says texture equals RA, that corresponds with the folder texture.ra. So now we will need to create a space for our new aircraft. We will need to paste the text that we copied earlier. Now we will need to change the flight sim.x accordingly to what's behind it. So for example, my one's 9, so this one will be 10. If it was 8, then it would be 9. Now this is by far the most important part. You need to make sure that the texture equals corresponds with the folder that you are trying to add. So for my one, texture would equal Qantas, and my folder would be texture.quantus. So for example, we could rename the folder texture.pickles and make it texture equals pickles. It would still do the exact same thing, as long as they were exactly the same. So once we've done that, we are completely done, and we can go ahead and open Microsoft Flight Simulator. As you can see, I found it in my aircraft library. So as we can see here, the plane has loaded perfectly well. On some occasions, you may find that some of the textures may not load. This should be the fault of the creator, and there's no need to worry. It's always good to try again with a different download. So that's just about it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.